Hey guys, this is all streamed out. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another episode of NBA 2K24 with our my career. And we are back in the uh, VR matches and we are going to do the Southwest Division Challenge. And it's going to be against Jalen Green, Kilden Jackson, or Kilden Johnson, and Jaron Jackson Jr. So here we go. Okay, and here we go. Yep, we've got Davis and Paul George on our team. That's an assist. And again, these matches will always be muted because it was uh, something to do with the soundtrack on here um, that got the second one a uh, copyright claim. Not a strike, but a claim. And I hope that it's up by the time this one goes live because that was episode two and this one's going to be episode six. So... And for those that do not know, I do record the I do record these ahead of time. I usually record in batches of uh, of like a week. Um, I'm doing two weeks this time around just to uh, get it up to where everything else is. Nice. Good play by the brow. Okay, we're up by two. There we go. Oh. There we go. That could have been better. There we go, we're up by four, we need nine. Okay. Nice. 
There we go, Rabbi Six. All right, no problem. No problem. Nice. All right. That should have went. All right, one more bucket. Oh. And that'll do it. We got a playmaking badge. Okay, we're going to move our block up by three and our defensive, or our offensive rebound up by one. And we're going to go with uh, Floor General. And here we are. Our game this episode is against the Minnesota Timberwolves. You know, a lot of times that means it'll come down to the rebounding battle. Whoever controls And there's the jump and we should have that, right? We do. And we'll just Okay, we'll just get right back into what we normally do here. Over in the corner, Brown. It's stolen by Edwards. Uh, that should have gone to Porzingis, and it didn't. Driving to the basket. Great D that time from Tatum. Come on, all this lag. Here are the Celtics. Outside. Here's Williams. There we go. We're up by two. And it's Williams with the jam. Slashing with purpose there. After setting that screen, Williams knows where to position himself in these sets. Master Conley. Okay. Gobert so good around the rim. Had that shot back before the defense could do anything with it. MP against Conley. Here's Jacobson. They get it back. Williams can't connect from short range. The Timberwolves have gone. What a so much lag. gone here in the first quarter and the shot goes in from Rudy Gobert. okay Gobert's got his second button clearly the strength of Gobert's game tough cover down low Mark, when you think of top rebounders today Rudy Gobert is a name that comes to mind yeah he's super long and tall but that's not just why he's such a wow he's got a real good knack for reading where balls are coming off and the timing that he has is pretty impeccable too. And okay, we're down by four. Okay, 
And here's MP. He'll bring it up for the Celtics. Four point game. This their first chance to take a look at Minnesota this season. Yeah, and they took both games they played against this club last season. Yeah, I like this matchup for them. Not a cakewalk. It's not going to be easy. But they clearly have the advantage. And once he got to the 10, yeah. tries to find himself that wide open. Well, this early, they should be showing a lot more energy on defense. It's not there. Outside Edwards. The rebound by the Celtics. That's the kind of D you need when he's got the ball near the hoop. They were all over. All right. He gets two shots. The results, the results weren't there. You know what, Kevin? They just had trouble puzzling all the pieces together. I mean, this season wasn't a And we're sitting. And we come back in. 4.35 to go. In the second, and we're down by six. Give me the ball. The Celtics also changing it up. Williams, he's checked in for Pazingas. Delano Benton comes in for Al Horford. There we go. MP subbed in for Brockton. On the floor for Boston. Down in the front court along with Tatum. Then it's Rob Williams. Then it's MP. And it's Benton in at the shooting guard position. And stolen by MP. And now Williams that's an assist. All by himself. You got to keep pace with Williams in transition. He's so good at just outworking everybody on the floor. Finally, the pass to Edwards. Oh, good on the triple. And here's Tatum. He'll bring it up for the Celtics. Trailing by two. Okay, go ahead and take that. You know what? We're tied. And you know his and I didn't even need to touch the ball. Do work in the post. Defense can only do so much. Conley kicks to McDaniel. Has to go back. Over Williams. And once again off the mark by Minnesota. Last game for the Celtics. They pick up the win against the Nets in Brooklyn. Tatum. Oh, that's a foul. Sends him to the line. And let's check out a breakdown looking at some of the stats for Carl Anthony Towns. He'll take his third and fourth free throw shots of the game right here. Okay, Tatum makes the first. That gives us the lead. The chances with Tatum at the line. He locks in and focuses on these two. Derek White checked in for Delano Benton. He will miss the second. And players and coaches want a consistent whistle, Clark. Isn't that harder, though, when minor contact can be called a foul? Yeah, it is, Kevin, but I do think the officials do a great job. At the NBA level, there's more latitude. Okay, we switched, and I didn't want to. They're also the most athletic and the strongest players in the world. So giving them room, and I think the officials do a great job of officiating the game the way it should be. And I understand the cry about consistency, but remember now, the there we go. Like the players, coaches, and we'll get those they points. Are human. Timberwolves trailed by three. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions. Right now, they need to pass. The pass to Reed. Inside. Shot to stop the run. And Boston with the rebound. Williams has got six rebounds in the game. Here's Tatum. Reed with the block. And they hit it back. And that oh, was good. I'll take it. We got the rebound and the points. And Kevin, they and here we go. We are up by five. Team's best shot, and they've got to be ready. All-star Jalen Brown says comfort will kill you. These teams aren't waiting around to let us win the game. You've got to go out and prove it every single night. Success is earned every single night. Kevin, I hope to earn success tonight with my sideline. <laughs> Get in there. They would have given it to me when I was calling for it. It would have been fine. Conley kicks to Edwards. One forty-six left to play here in the second quarter. Count it, and the Celtic lead has been cut down. Okay. And we take a timeout. And here we are to start the second half. We are up by six. 
the front court is McDaniels and Towns. Conley is the point. Edwards plays on the wing. And it's Gobert in at the five, patrolling the paint. So that's that's not my side. guy. Yeah, that's two straight three pointers they've allowed. Celtic shooting for the game at 42%. On the wing, MP. Covered by Conley. They get the rebound. Oh. And the activity he shows around the rim is why he is such a respected defender. And you know what? He's not going to give up an easy finish at the rim. I mean, that's just a, against his constitution. Their game plan needs to change if they're going to get out of this hole because he is just not there offensively. We should have had that. Following this one, they get to host the Pelicans. That will complete this four-game homestand. Dishes it to Edwards. Okay, we're up by one. Edwards got five points so far. Nice mid-range J from Edwards there. He's obviously not too concerned about what the analytics say about that shot. To the middle. Get in there. Wow. And out of the gates here in the second half, they have not started well. 0 of 3. I'm a fan of anybody who defends that way. I mean, they weren't about to open the door and just allow him to cruise in for a layup. Here's Brown. And he makes All right, one. that'll work. Brown's got his first two points of the night. Brown is so creative at picking apart the defense with his ball hand. You gotta love how clever he is with the ball. Gobert, the pass to come. That's a foul, and we stopped him from scoring. We'll shoot two. The epitome of a terrific point guard and teammate. True professional in every sense of the word. On he makes them both. Floor. He plays and he teaches and mentors. I could see him, if he desired, being a really good head coach someday. Reed, he's checked in for the Timberwolves. Over in the corner, Przingis. Outside, Tatum. MP against Gobert. The drive by MP. As Przingis. He got it. it. Thanks it in. Eight points for him. You know, what makes Porzingis a nightmare matchup, guys, is his size, skill, and agility. MP against Conley. Passes it to Reed. That's in there. Conley okay. Assists. Conley's got three assists in the game. So impressive. The, the fortitude, the will to battle back, but it did take a lot of energy to get here. Yeah. Oh. You know, battling back is about staying the course, and their attitude never changed. Conley with a wide open look. And again, Minnesota with the triple. And it looks like they left a right. effort back in the locker room, guys. They just haven't had the same commitment here defensively in the second half. MP outside. And he can't answer back. The three-pointer offline. Nick Daniels with the ball. Left in the third quarter. And look at Tatum turning up the All right, we are down by three. And we sat down until 3.20 to go in the game, and we are down by three. After that, we're down by one. You know, something that Williams does so well, as soon as he has inside positioning, he just goes for the finish. And here's Edwards. He'll bring it up for Minnesota. On the court for the Celtics. The forwards for him. Tatum and Porzingis. On out there with MP. And it's Williams at the five. Oh, come on. Here's Conley. Count it. Nine points for Conley. Encouraging signs for him after starting the game poorly. He's picked it up here in the second half. And looks like the illegal pick was set. Yep, that's right. That'll get their attention. Yeah, but in the first half, he was just purely flawless as a ball. Scorer. All right. But that certainly hasn't been the case here in the second half. Here's Edwards. And Tatum pulls it down. Tatum's got his fifth rebound in this one. A pass to Porzingis. That's That'll exactly work. They turn to Porzingis here, guys. They trust him to step up in big moments. And over two and a half minutes in the books here in the fourth. For three. 
three, Edwards. Here's Gobert. And two free throws come. And that's foul on Williams. The shooting foul. Really at the right plate defensively. And a good foul. Gobert misses the first. Yeah, exactly. Prevent the layup. Give him a little bump. And then maybe he'll make the second. They're up by two. About it, at least they might be distracted by your presence. MP looking around. Here's Persingas. And we're tied. MP picking up the assist. assist goes to Jacobson's got assist number eight now on the night. On against it. Looking to get it going. And the shot misses. Some sour defense from Brown. Boston's gone one of three from outside the arc since we've reached the fourth quarter. Oh! Get it to go. Minnesota shooting the pedestrian 36 percent in the fourth quarter. The offense not doing the best work of late, and it goes down two points at every level. Okay. He's been the go-to guy for his team. It's in his DNA. Boston trailing. Fourth quarter of play, and over three and a half minutes have gone by. Jacobson can't get it to go. Jacobson's gone two for seven from the field. The feed to Towns. Rebounded by the Celtics. Persingas has got rebound number eight now on the night. Brown outside. Tatum on the wing. Defended by Gobert. That works. We're tied. Tie game. That is a huge basket right there. Oh, you just love seeing a player with absolutely no fear. Cool, calm, collected, and confident in the biggest moment of the game. That will be a foul, and I'm okay with it. That's foul number two for him. They take a timeout. I think he's giving them a And here we go. A safety net on every possession. And with an update from the sideline, let's check in with David Aldridge. I was able to listen in on what Chris Finch told the team. Now they preach the little things. We're up by two. One extra possession could be all the difference. Back to you, Kevin. Okay, David, much appreciated. And, and timeout, Minnesota. That's their final. And here we go. Here is Edwards to the paint. Here's Conley. It's hauled in by Jacobson. And we are, yep, we got fouled. takes a ton of pride in what he does on defense and now we've got the intentional foul okay i wanted i wanted to get fouled but yeah that's fine as long as brown can make them i'm fine they need a profitable trip here and luckily brown looks to be in the zone okay i need to tell you guys those free throws are big two possession game now no time to waste on this possession gotta go right up with it and then foul immediately Edwards gets to Conley. Outside, Towns. Offensive rebound. Puts up a deep three. Conley's shot is off. And he missed that one, but I've seen him drill shots from that distance. We have one by four. That looked to me, guys. And we're going to move our three-point shot up by one. And with that, we are going to end today's episode. I want to thank everybody for watching. My name is I'll stream that. Hit the like button if you like this type of content. It lets me know that you like this particular type of content and would like to see more. Hit the subscribe button and ring the bell for notifications to be notified every time I post a video. And follow me on Twitter, Discord, and on the second channel. The links are in the description below. Have a wonderful day.